Welcome to Retired Time Productions. So here is the Eashin FPV kit that I got from Banggood. Let's take a look at it. It comes with a 5.8 gigahertz 32 channel video transmitter and it's 200 milliwatts. It also comes with a 700 line uh, TV line camera but in the instructions it says it's 800 so I'm not sure which it is. It has a ready to use FPV cable that fits a standard 3S LiPo battery and it has a straight monopole antenna in the package and you can get circular polarized antennas separately if you want. So in the directions it says that the uh, milliwatts is 200 milliwatts for the video transmitter and also it says that the camera is more than 800 TV lines. So I'm not sure whether it is 700 or 800 but we'll take a look at that later. This one comes with the ET200 video transmitter. So it has uh, 32 channels and selecting the channels is made easy by a single press button. So here's what the inside of the box looks like when you get it. I took all the components out of the package so here we have the camera, the ready to use cable, the video transmitter, and the monopole antenna, and of course the instruction sheet. So here's the frequency chart on the back of the box and it's also in the manual. Uh, what we have is actually 12 LEDs along the edge of the board right here. Now four of these LEDs tell you which band you're on. So if you long press the button you can select the band that you want to be in. And then if you short press it you can pick the frequency in that band. So they've really done a good job in making it easy to select your frequencies. So let's try it out. The first thing we need to do is put on the antenna. Never run your video transmitter without an antenna because it could burn out the electronics. I found that the uh, the connector for the uh, wiring harness is actually on the side which is kind of handy if you want to mount the transmitter vertical like this maybe on a mini quad or something. Uh, so all you got to do is just plug in to the side and it won't be in the way when you mount your transmitter. The CCD camera actually has two connectors on the back. We're going to be using this one to plug in the video cable. The other one I presume is for a menu board. I don't have a menu board with it, but I think I have some on from my other cameras that would probably fit it. So it doesn't look like we're going to be working with the menus. Let's go ahead and plug this wire in. Okay, now that the camera is plugged in, all we have to do is take a standard 3-cell LiPo battery and plug it into this receptacle here, which is made to take a 3-cell LiPo battery. So it's fairly simple. Then you're ready to roll. The transmitter comes default set to B1 on the frequency. So let's take a look at the box here, and you can see that B1 is actually 5733. Well, I want to get down on this Fat Shark band down here so I can use my Fat Shark receiver and my Dominator goggles. So I'm going to switch it to band 4 here and uh, put it on maybe 588. Let's see if we can do that. So I'm going to long press the button so I can get to the F band. Holding it down. Alright, so see this light just moved up. Now let's hold it down again. And now it's moved to the top. So I'm presumably on the F band. Now I can just short press till I get this light down to 8. And now I should be on F8. So F and channel 8 is this channel right here. Now let's see if we can pick it up in the Fat Shark goggles. So here's what it looks like in the goggles. I'll just do that. When I'm doing that you can see my hand moving in the goggles. But one thing unfortunately the camera that came with it right here did not work. So I plugged the cable into one of my board cameras here. 
And this is the run cam that I got. It's a run cam version that I got, and it worked fine. That's what you're looking at through the goggles. But this one over here, I got no picture whatsoever, and I don't know what's going on there. As a replacement for the dead camera that came with the kit, I found that this camera here that I got from WOW Hobbies actually works, and the plug from the harness does fit this camera. It's, it also fit the, uh, the run cam FEO camera, as I showed you earlier. Uh, many of the other cameras, the like the PZ0420 from uh, Security Cam 2000, would not work with this plug. Uh, you'd have to put a different end on it. But this camera here is actually the same size. And like I said, I got it from WOW Hobbies as a replacement for my Nighthawk Pro camera, or at least a backup for that camera if it ever goes bad, my, Night, my Nighthawk Pro uh, Mini Quad has this type of camera on it and the part number is right down here you can see it at the bottom line here there it is XK3086 and you can see the whole description there and it's from WOW Hobbies okay so right there WOW Hobbies and that's the address and all so here's the WOW Hobbies camera working right here. I'll just move it around. There it is right there, working with the transmitter from the kit. Looks pretty good, pretty clear video. So that's a possible replacement if you do get a bad camera. Or you can just, uh, you know, call Banggood and get a new one, try to get a new one that way. Well, since I have a dead camera, I really can do no further review of this product. Uh, so that ends the video. Sorry, guys. Keep your light.